Gian from Connected Fitness. You join us again for another one of our Connected Conversations. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we don't have a guest on this evening. Instead, it's just me and I'm going to answer some questions about veganism. Veganism, basically in a nutshell, is a, a choice and a lifestyle decision to uh, try not to use any animal-based product. Now that is not just food, um, where that is mainly to do with your diet, um, it is also to do with clothes and cosmetics and uh, everything that, that you use in life. Um, you can choose to do it for ethical reasons or moral reasons. Um, if you're talking about me personally, um, in 2000 and 13, I think um, I decided to do Veganuary, which is where you go try to go vegan for a month um, And I did that and I really enjoyed it and um, I found a huge difference in my mood and my psyche and um, It was something that from that moment about 10 days in I thought I'm never going back and I didn't Yeah, really good question plant-based or veganism um, So plant-based is when you attempt to purge animal products from your diet okay so in that case it would be a decision to no longer eat meat or honey or eggs or um, anything that comes or is derived from an animal um, so it's a bit like vegetarianism but a few a few extra things added in you'd be taking out all dairy products all milk yogurt and um, quite a lot of chocolate all that kind of stuff um, and taking that out of your diet the difference between plant-based and veganism full-on veganism is when you then go one step further and you're taking the things out of your lifestyle as well so you would be a lot more aware of what goes into your cosmetics maybe what you're drinking a little bit more about the alcohol um, you might Think about leather and uh, and various bits and pieces like that as well. Um, so plant-based people typically are talking purely about their diet, whereas veganism is the lifestyle um, and the extra things as well. Um, as I've said, I went vegan um, for a trial. Um, I did it purely for selfish reasons, really. I wanted to see what it was like um, and to challenge myself as a bit of a New Year's resolution. Um, I find that after about 48 hours, now I went cold turkey, um, I was a complete omnivore, I had everything, in fact on that morning, it was the day after a New Year's Eve party, I got up and I had a full Ulster fry with the works um, and then that was it, I decided that that was me um, and here we are seven years later um, and still going strong. Um, I noticed First and foremost, I got a massive headache. Um, now, I think that was more down to the withdrawal. Um, when you go vegan, um, there's a lot of things that you no longer can eat. So there's, you know, chocolate has no, almost ex loads of milk in it. Um, at that time, there wasn't the same plethora of options that there are now. So there was a, a huge limitation. Really, corn was the only thing, and it isn't even vegan for the most part. Um, or at least it wasn't then. Uh, so there were very few sort of plant-based alternatives. Um, to replace and at that time I didn't know what I was getting myself in for so I wasn't aware of all the there's loads and loads of snack foods and junk foods that you can still eat and um, that are vegan um, but at that time I wasn't aware of them so I went completely cold turkey um, and what that meant was I went from eating sugary stuff quite a lot um, and lots of chocolate and buns and cakes and sweets and all that kind of thing to literally overnight I, I, I didn't think I could eat any of them um, as it turns out you can there are a lot of alternatives now um, but at the time I was um, very keen to do it kind of right um, and it was also New Year's and it was a bit of a health kick and all the rest of it uh, so the first thing that I noticed straight away was the huge migraine that I got for about three days after that what I noticed is it was like someone just pulled the curtains open um, I felt completely different I felt completely healthier um, I noticed my skin was a lot better and um, I also noticed that my mood was a lot better now I've described this to a few people in different ways but um, before I would have felt quite often coming close to a meal I would have got you know that kind of dip in form um, and then as time would have gone on I'd have eaten and I'd have got that sort of buzz and then after that I'd have gone you know you, you had that sort of food coma feeling or you know the meat sweats that kind of feeling um, and I noticed that because a lot of my food became plant-based and 
probably carbohydrate rich, I noticed that my mood kind of leveled out um, and I felt a lot more sort of uh, calm. I slept better and um, I have better energy levels all across the board rather than this kind of wave um, effect. Um, so I have never, never looked back. Um, I really enjoyed it um, and I still really enjoy it. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's the difference that it made to me. I am absolutely in love with all the cuisines of the world. Um, so I really, really adore Indian food. I love loads of Asian food and noodles and Thai and all that kind of stuff. Um, I really, really like um, just doing like a, like a really big Sunday roast, um, obviously without the meat, but with um, just roasting up some veg um, or some of the alternatives, um, maybe doing some tofu or um, I got really good at doing like really cool potatoes and, and all that kind of thing. Um, one of the best meals that I've had recently, especially over lockdown, was um, our Christmas dinner. Um, because there was only four of us at Christmas, we spent, decided to spend a whole lot more time on it. Um, and I have to say um, that the, we did fondant potatoes and you know, lots of care taken about the preparation of the veg and it was incredible. Um, outside of that, um, I love gnocchi, I love uh, falafel. Um, and I have this list now of restaurants that I can't wait to go back to and um, that I really miss over lockdown and um, that all do um, really, really good vegan food. I don't miss a whole lot, if I'm totally honest. Um, at the beginning, I missed uh, cheese and I missed cured meats. Um, so things like pastrami and uh, chorizo and stuff like that. Um, that kind of smorgasbord uh, of flavors, those kind of things. Um, over time, the alternatives got better. Um, so, um, the kind of the options that Tesco's and all the rest of it are now selling um, are there. Uh, the other thing that I miss, and I, um, I say this quite often as a, as a joke answer, but it's true, is convenience. Um, when you go vegan, you kind of really have to think about what you're gonna have. Um, and I think that's actually a really romantic way to think about food. Um, and I love being able to um, put a bit of planning into what I'm gonna eat that night, um, especially given the fact that we have so much more time on our hands. Um, I've got really into cooking and um, my Instagram feed is full of stuff that I've made myself um, and attempts to recreate kind of restaurant meals that we've gone before. Um, but in terms of what I miss, um, under normal circumstances when you're in sort of normal life, um, I really miss the, the opportunity to just grab something on the go. Um, now, as time has gone on, um, a lot more people are catering for vegans, so that, that problem has got less. Um, the other thing that's changed hugely is my understanding of what is and isn't vegan. Um, so at the beginning, obviously, there's a lot of labels to read to understand what, what was, you know, what contained animal derivative and what didn't. Um, but now I have to say it's a whole lot, a whole lot easier. Um, a nonsense. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to stand here and tell you that I count calories because I don't, um, nor do I count my macros. Um, I'm lucky enough that I'm a fairly active lifestyle. Um, I'm fairly content with you know my figure and how I look. Um, so, in terms of the kind of macro counting, it's not something that I struggle with. Um, I know a lot of people that have gone on vegan diet and dropped weight. Um, I think that's more as a result of the consideration for what they're eating rather than the actual dietary change. Um, and I think once you have to home cook a whole lot more and once you're cooking for yourself a whole lot more rather than grabbing the easy ready meals, um, I think that's probably more where the, the weight loss is coming from. Um, in terms of protein, um, I, don't, I don't think about it hugely. I mean, do a quick Google search and you'll be able to see where protein comes from. Um, but I, I bulk out with you know nuts and greens and spinach and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I don't take any supplements, I never have. Um, yeah. Quite often people ask what, what mistakes um, I have made and there have been two that stand out. Um, I was in Iceland uh, on holiday, not the supermarket, the country, and I was in an Italian restaurant and I'm pretty sure they made all the pasta from scratch, which probably means it's got egg in it. And I chose not to ask because of the situation um, and all the rest of it. So I'm pretty sure I had eggs then. Um, and on another occasion, I chose the wrong pesto jar um, that was in the fridge um, and I made pasta with pesto. Um, apart from that, I'm not aware of any mistakes, um, but I'm sure there have been. And to be honest, it, it wouldn't annoy me if they, if they did. Um, I come across stuff a lot. Um, 
and you know every now and again someone goes that wine's not vegan or whatever else and that's not something that really I, I think about um, or that annoys me too much um, we all are trying our best um, and mistakes happen um, it's not the end of the world Yes, I do, um, and I think I care hugely about the, the sort of the footprint. Um, a brilliant movie, if you want to watch it, if you've got Netflix, um, there's a, a movie called Cowspiracy, um, that sounds like it's gonna be really preachy, but it's really not. It's so informative, and it's really, it's a brilliant, brilliant watch. Um, the overall point that it tries to make, which is something that I think is so important, is that the amount of land required to feed a cow in order to bring it through to the point where it is made into beef is colossal. Um, and the amount of land being taken up um, in order just to feed the cows is, is, something, that is, is something that I just cannot get past. Um, and yes, the haters will quote back about almond milk and all the rest of it and, and where the land would go and farming being a way of life. And I understand all of that. Um, I've lived this life for seven years now and I've heard every argument going um, but you don't get to choose for me and my choice is that, um, that I choose to abstain. Um, I think the environment, I think world, I think the, the health of people um, and I think generally speaking just the mother nature would be so much better off if the world was more plant based um, and ideally vegan in, in its entirety. I am an animal lover, I have rats here, um, but I've had cats all my life um, and I love animals um, and always have um, and the, the disconnection between eating them and caring for them is something that over time becomes more apparent. Um, I didn't go into veganism from an animal, animal welfare point of view, I can't claim that I did, um, but over time of course you become more and more aware of those issues. And it's something that over time you become more and more, you know, clued in on. Um, and the people say, well, what about honey? You know, what, what if someone kept bees in their garden? Well, I mean, morally, you could make very, very little objection to that. Um, I keep two chickens in my garden and can I eat their eggs? It's not about can or can you not. Um, but in terms of the animal welfare question, that does not excuse what goes on in factories and warehouses up and down this yes, country. Yes, normally people uh, sign off these kind of talks with, so just make a little bit of a change, just make a small change, you know, just buy plant milk instead of cow's milk and just do meat-free Mondays or something along those lines. I'm going to make an argument for the opposite. Um, I think that helps nearly no one. Um, if I were to make the same argument for racism or um, other beliefs, you know, um, homophobia, uh, if I were to say, oh, well, we'll try not to do it on a Monday, um, we'll try not to do it, you know, we'll try not to do it with, with, with you know, with casual things, but the big stuff we're still going to do, um, it's not an argument that works for me. Um, and I think in terms of veganism it is something that i believe in um, and i'm something i'm hugely passionate about and i do think that in order for you to go vegan it's a it's a two food in thing um, and you will make mistakes and you may have days where you compromise uh, but i think the opportunity is there for everyone to better themselves to better the human race to better our planet um, and i would encourage everyone to go to go